it going everyone? I'm Slavin Aitorski. Welcome to the channel. And uh, new viewers, thanks for stopping by. Old viewers, I know, it's great, right? I'm back. I took some small time off, uh, just a little mini vacation, things like that. If you follow my Instagram, you'll kind of see what's been going on. But just needed to take a little bit, bit of a break, had some crazy stuff going on at work. Uh, like I said, time off, needed to refresh the brain, but I'm back, needed to refresh the wallet. And uh, here we are. Uh, now for this year, for 2022, you're probably going to see a little bit more collectibles because that bug has bitten and I want to put them on the channel, see if people like them. I'm sure there's some stuff, uh, oh, people might like that. Uh, just because we're all in the same like, pew pew community doesn't mean we don't all like the same things that some of us do. So we'll probably see some more of that coming too. Alright, so uh, what is today? Why am I bugging you today? Why do you have to look at my ugly mug? Because I picked up the SIG P365XL in lieu of my SIG, P3, P, SIG P365, sorry, tongue tied. And uh, so we're going to go over that today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, and let's get into it. All right, welcome back, everyone. It's good to see you all again. I hope you all are enjoying seeing me again, or maybe you don't. Who knows? <laughs> maybe you just hate me. You hate watch my channel. All right, so P365XL. This is the case it comes in. You're probably very familiar with this case. You've seen it before on the channel with the P365 version of it. Again, this is the tack pack because I like to just get little bundles of things. I do get sold by those. So these come in great cases. There's little locks in here if you wanted to put a lock. The latches come up and out and up. And here are all the goodies inside. So, what does it come with? Now, one thing you will notice, uh, while I've unboxed this, obviously I've already opened this before. There's a few add-ons here, and we'll go over those on the channel, what the add-ons are, but you'll probably see. So, you get the P365XL. This is in a safe location. Everything is unloaded. Nothing to worry about there. All of this pointed in a safe direction. This is just a wall that goes to nowhere behind here. It's a concrete wall, so... You know, all the people out there are worried about that, and YouTube as well. Everything is safe. So, you get the P365XL. You get three magazines. They're all right here. You get holster and accessories for the holster. Uh, when you flip up the foam, you can't flip it up there, but you can flip it up down here. This is something we're going to go over. That's uh, extra. It's not It doesn't come with it. Uh, you get some lubricant and cleaner, a little package of that, so that's cool. Swag, which is always nice. Books, you all know about the books. Here's the things about the lasers. Uh, I haven't tried these yet, but everyone that I've asked, other channels, I've even asked Military Arms Channel, and uh, he actually commented back and said he does not recommend these. So I have not tried them. Because I am going off more expert opinion than my own. Uh, then there's some more available products. Another thing for NRA. Something for the USCCA. That's pretty good. Get a free Romeo Zero when you join the USCCA. Huh. Well. Yeah, check that out. That's a $100 value. And then you get something else here. For advertising their ammunition. So many papers. Then you get the book itself. Nice red, white, and black. Nice full color images. I didn't think they were at first, but you can see it there. There's color. Obviously, it's not photos. It's digital or 3D animation, which I can appreciate. I don't know if I, many people have noticed on the channel, but I actually used to do 3D animation back in the day. Not professionally. I did it in school, and then I used to do it as a hobby. Then I started doing this. No, <laughs> I just had other stuff I started doing. That's one of those fields, you gotta be the best of the best. And I was not the best of the best. I wouldn't even come near that. <laughs> All right, so you get a chamber flag, a little bit different than normal. Uh, this is something we'll go over. And you get one of the locks. So uh, let me go ahead and clear this off because I've taken long enough on showing you what's inside the box and we'll get straight into the meat and potatoes. All right, as promised, here's the main course. So let's take a close look here. This is the SIG P365XL, and actually, 
Uh, bear with your eyes. Unfocus your eyes for one second. There we go. I've learned to give you guys a warning about that because that kind of is jarring to my eyes, so I'm sure it is to other people's as well. So this is the SIG P365XL with some additions that I've added. So let's take a small moment to just enjoy it up close because these are very good looking pews as well. Yes, I know I'm still trying to not say certain words on here because, well, yeah, you know how YouTube is. All right, so now that we've just taken a good look at it, let's go over the features. So first off, starting at the bottom, you have this nice sandpaper grip texture all the way around, so you get four panels of it. It actually says the brand name there. Uh, you get a nice finger groove and a cutout in the bottom here. So your finger is nice and comfortable. Please forgive my nails, I just realized I need to cut them. Uh, as well, you have a magazine release. It is switchable, you can pop it on either side. Sorry about the focus. So that's nice, you have an ambidextrous safety. And what that does is disengages the trigger. So you see that there. You have a slide catch, slide release. So that holds it down, and yes, because people do ask, you are able to do that. Trigger guard comes all the way up front. There's nothing here, so you're fine there. Now, normally the bottom of this would only come this far, and it has a proprietary rail. But as you've noticed, I have upgraded this. I'll get on the upgrades uh, after I go over the normal features of this, okay? So coming up, you'll see it's nice and kind of slanted. Makes it easier for carrying. Very flat front there, so it's easy to get in and out. There's nothing sticking out that might hang up on anything. Forward serrations, so I know not everybody likes press checks, but you can if you wanted to. If you want to grab it up here to charge it, you can, your choice. Rear serrations, same thing. Going around the back, you'll notice that it has that night sights on it, and these are the ones that glow, so it's their three-day x-ray sights. I think that's how you say it. There's a plate on top here that you can remove, and that's for mounting your optics. So it's pretty cool. And this one's a little bit different than a lot of them, but in the bottom, well, different than other options from different brands. The screws are in the bottom here to take that plate off, so you don't have to worry about the screws being up top. A little bit more secure, I think, that way. Coming around the right side, uh, let's go over the trigger. This is a flat face trigger with a little notch in the bottom, so it is very easy to get your hand on. And you'll see there's nothing to that trigger pull too. We'll go over that as well. So that's pretty much everything you got here. Of course, there is a little slot in the top so you can look in, see if there's anything in that chamber, which there is not at the moment. So very nice. Front sight has that nice focus. It is that night sight in there. It is also, you see right there, SIG H3. Is that focusing? Uh, it's not. There it is. That's cool, but it's got that nice green round on it. The green uh, surrounding. That makes it very, very visible. Very easy to see. So, pretty cool. That's everything that comes with this. And I'm sure you've already noticed some of the upgrades I put into it. Everything else that comes with it. For the tack pack, you get two of these 15 rounders. So, it's nice. They've got the extended bottoms. And you get the flush 12 rounder, which is the one I like to carry with it. Because it's in there, it's nice and flush. You'll see with the magazines, they pop out easy. They have the SIG logo on the bottom. For the extended ones, this is how far it sticks out. Interesting, look kind of look like a mini Robocop. Done it. Mini, uh, what was that, 92R that he uses, I believe. My brain does not like the name of things if you're new to the channel. Sometimes uh, it does not recollect the names. I don't know why. I've actually been looking in the reasons or things I can do to fix that. So bear with me on that one. All right. So you notice everything looks good. And here's a little indentation here I didn't say. Make it more comfortable for your trigger finger as well as your thumb to rest on here. So very, very nice. All right. So next up, accessories. This is just a holster with all the clips that you might need. 
Sorry about the plastic noise, I know it's awful. Uh, different belt clips, things like that. And the holster itself. Now one thing I will say is with this upgrade that I've given it, you notice it does not fit in the holster anymore. Which is unfortunate, but that's fine because you can actually order custom holsters for it. Alright, let's get on to the upgrades. First and foremost, the easy one. <clears throat> Sorry, I know my voice is sounding awful. It is in the morning and my voice is worse, but this is the time I had to actually shoot. I got the Maker Shot slide plate for the Sig P365. And of course, I went with the Punisher Skull because that is my favorite Marvel character. It always has been. But that goes in there, it looks really nice and fresh. Looks like it belongs, and I love that it's very subtle. If that was uh, painted white, I probably wouldn't like it so much. But that looks very, very good to me, because I like that it's 3D, so you can actually feel it. You see how it's raised up? Kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, you can order these directly from MakerShot. I had to get that. And then the other thing that is very obvious on here is this front rail. I think it completes the look of it. It looks great this way. Uh, now, it attaches with two little screws here with nuts on the end. And what I did is I put a little drop of Loctite on each one of them, screwed them in nice and tight. And that's it. You'll see how it kind of locks together here. But uh, that actually makes it very nice. So any standard rail thing will fit right on there, no problem. You can do the big ones because this one's a little bit longer barrel. But what's that it's called is a... Tactical Development, XL Tactical Application Rail for the SIG P365. They're not terribly expensive. You can see you get an extra screw and nut. It gets an Allen key. So it just, in my opinion, it completes the look of it. It makes it so you get more options that you can slap on the end of it. And frankly, I just prefer it. I think it looks better. So yeah, it might hang up on things a little bit more. I think some people have said that. I haven't noticed it myself. I think it's pretty nice. Because it's uh, angled down here, it this fits very flush with the end of it. So I haven't noticed any of that. I've seen that in a couple of uh, comments and things. So, yeah, take with that what you will. But I like it. I think it's great. I haven't had any issues. I still need to go out and test fire this. So, uh, if that does not hold up, that will come on the channel saying, hey, this thing fell off the end of it by the second magazine or something like that. But uh, that's everything that came with it. That's all the up-close features and stuff. So bear with me. I'm going to reset everything, and we'll get into the next section. All right. So next up, let's test the trigger of this. Now, this is single action only. So as you see, I already charged it. There is no thing that's going to happen without you charging this. So what I have here is my Lyman trigger gauge. We're going to do an average of three and show you what's going on there. So let's go ahead. That's how you charge it. And ready it up. I'm not the most professional at these things, but do my best. Three pounds, 7.8 ounces. Did you hear that brain fart I just had? Three pounds. 12.4 ounces. Two pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces for an average of three pounds, 4.7 ounces. Your mileage may vary. That's mainly because it's hard for me to keep my hands steady on doing that. I'm still not <laughs> a pro at it yet. And, uh, but yeah. So it has a very, very easy and light trigger pull once it is charged. So nothing to complain about there. All right, so next up's the portion where we weigh everything. So I loaded up two of the magazines with my nice lo loader here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a weight for this. So again, we are empty. There is nothing in it. We are safe, we're pointed in a safe direction charged safety on so by itself the weight on it is one pound 2.5 ounces 
So that's just for the P365XL. Now mind you, keep in mind, I do have that extra rail on the front and that might weigh a little more or less. I am not sure as far as the back plate there. So we have a fully loaded 12 round magazine. This weighs a total of 7.3, 7.4 ounces. So just keep in mind, if you're keeping extras of these on you, that's how much it's gonna be in your bag or on your weight. This is a fully loaded 15 round magazine. Same thing, 9.4 ounces if you're wanting to keep extra of those on you. Uh, so just, just an empty one, just for the heck of it, three ounces by itself. All right, so again, pointed in a safe direction. This is how much it weighs with the 12 round magazine. You're looking at one pound, 9.9 ounce, 9 .9 ounces. And then let's say you wanna add one more. One pound, 10.4 ounces. And that's with the 12 round magazine loaded. So let's pull that out, put in the 15 rounder. I'm not gonna completely slam it in there. So a 15 rounder, you're looking at one pound, 12 ounces, plus one. One pound, 12.4 ounces. So this gives you an idea of what you're gonna be carrying in your belt loop, uh, in your purse if you have a purse, uh, in your bag, your go bag. Uh, some people do their ankle. So this gives you a couple options. And now you know just how much weight you're gonna have with this and with any of the extras on top of that. So hopefully that helps you guys out. And that is everything I have. Um, obviously I don't have the SIG-01 yet. I'm considering getting one. Uh, maybe I'll sign up on that uh, USCCA thing in there and get one of those. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's everything I have. I wanted to show some of the cool accessories we added to it. Uh, just how this is in general. I think this is a great, great carry piece. Obviously, I really like the original P365. But just having that little extra barrel, you get a little bit more accuracy. You get a little bit more room to put stuff on. And of course, me, I'm a sucker for customization. So I was able to customize it even more. And just because I know since we just did the portion where we put the magazines in, again, there's nothing in there to worry about. But that is everything I have. So let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of these? Do you hate them? Do you like them? Do you love them? Have you found some cool accessories? I think there's a lot that you can go over. So awesome stuff. Really, really liking it. And really great output. And I know uh, SIG is coming out with more versions. I believe they just uh, announced their 380 version. So that'll be pretty cool. If I remember correctly, again, my brain doesn't like to remember things, but I think it was the SIG that announced its 380 version coming out here. So really cool stuff. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments section and if you'd like to see anything next. Uh, I am gonna slow down a little bit on the purchasing of pews because uh, whew, last year was crazy. <laughs> And I need to slow down on that a bit. But like I said before, uh, you'll probably see a little bit more hobby and collectible stuff, you know, things like this and uh, more. And yes, I do collect action figures. So you'll probably see some of those on here too. Hopefully you guys like them. I know, uh, I know some of y'all out there do that stuff too. So hopefully you appreciate it. But anyways, I'm rambling. I'll stop now because uh, as you know, that's something I do. I want to thank everyone that stopped by to watch the video. I hope you did like it. Don't forget to toss your comments and thoughts down in the comment section because I do like talking to you guys down there. Uh, I want to—I hope everyone out there stays safe, keep your family safe, don't give up on those goals. Uh, I've been pushing towards mine as well. I'm actually down 10 pounds from last year, so that's awesome. It was 15 pounds, but I had a little bit of a swing back, but we're going back down to keep that weight down. So all of you guys can do it. Uh, my mother actually lost 35 pounds last year, so that gives you an idea. Uh, you can always improve if you put your mind to it. Good stuff. Also, as a side note, if you have anyone in your life that holds you back, is negative towards you, anything like that, cut them out of your life. Just because people are say they're family doesn't make them family. And a lot of people that are family that scream about you never give up on family that are toxic people, they do that just so they can keep victims close by at all times. So keep that in mind. Regardless of someone's blood or not, if they are not good to have around you, get away from them. And I know not everyone follows that rule, everyone is family first, I get it, but some people you have to write off. 
if you can't tell, that's something I've had to do uh, not that long ago in my life. So figured I'd pass on that knowledge I learned to everyone out there. All right, so stay positive, keep pushing forward, stay away from negativity, push away toxicity, keep that out of your life, and keep going. I know you guys can do it. If I can, anyone can, because I'm not exactly anything special. I'm kind of a dunce. <laughs> All right, so remember, everybody, keep active, stay strong. I'll talk to you again in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, let me know. But take it easy, guys, and we'll see you next time. If you're interested in learning more about the channel, feel free to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook social medias. Uh, here you can find more about what's going on in my personal life as well as behind the scenes of the channel. And if you are interested in the gaming content, I do stream to Twitch before I upload any of the gaming content to YouTube. And if you wanted to follow me on Twitter, any contests I enter, I put friends links in there so we can both get some bonus entries.